Today we're going to take a look at calculating relative frequencies in a contingency table. So let's read our problem here. It says we have a sample of 260 adults is selected. The adults are classified according to their voter registration status and their preferred source of current events information. The results are given in the contingency table below. So let's take a look and see what we have here. So a contingency table is a way of displaying data, and in this case somewhat like a survey data, and identifying a certain relationship or breakdown of the survey results. So notice here that we have 260 total people surveyed. So what that means is if I was to come in and add up every one of these numbers here, we would get 260, because that's the total sample. And then we've broken that up, okay? These are all the registered voters, and these are the not registered voters, and here's how they prefer to get their information, okay? So let's take a look and see what they're asking us to do here. It says, among the adults in the sample who preferred to obtain their information through radio, what is the relative frequency of those who are not registered voters? So we're looking at the people who chose radio. So what that means is we're going to come over here. We don't need anything with television or newspaper. We don't need to do any of the information with the Internet sites. We're just strictly looking at the group of people that surveyed that prefer the radio as their source of information, 46 of them are registered voters and 27 of them are not registered voters. So now we need to figure out what the relative frequency and relative frequency is given as a decimal. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. The first thing we need to do is we need to know how large was our sample size here. Now, yes, there was 260 adults selected, but that's not who we're looking at. We're not looking at all 260. We're only looking at this group of radio people. So to figure out my total, I need to add together the 46 and the 27. So we'll do that real quick. So that means there are 73 people in my survey. Okay, so I'm going to make myself a fraction. We know that in a fraction, the total always goes in the denominator. And our numerator is our part or the part of the whole that we have. So we want to know what number of people who are not registered voters prefer the radio. So when we look at not registered voters, that's our 27. So that becomes the numerator of our fraction. So now we need to determine the relative frequency. And relative frequency we write as a decimal. We want to round to two decimal places. So I'm going to take my calculator and I'm going to clear this out, and I know you can't see the whole thing here, but in your calculator, you're just going to put 27 divided by 73, and you get 0 0.369863, 0 0.3698, and so on. They want us to round at least two number, numbers after the decimal. So we go to the second number, which is a 6. We look to the number after it. If it's 5 or greater, we round up. So therefore, for this one, our relative frequency is going to be 0 0.37. Now, this is the same thing as 37%. So 37% of the people um, that chose the radio are not registered voters. When we're dealing with relative frequency, we want to leave it as the decimal. Okay? Now, let's look at another way that we could use the same data and calculate a different frequency. Okay, so it says among the adults surveyed, what is the relative frequency of those who, whose preferred source of information is the internet? So we're going to go back, we're going to clear out all the stuff we did here. Now, it says among the adults surveyed, what is the relative frequency of those who preferred the internet as their source? So we're looking at the total survey here. So our denominator is going to be the total number of people surveyed, which is 260. Now, they want to know, of the 260, how many of them preferred the Internet as their source of information? So we need to come over here and we need to add these together. And 22 plus 32 gives me 54. So that means that 54 of the 260 people surveyed prefer the Internet as their source of information. So again, I'm going to get my calculator out. I'm going to do 54 divided by 260 and that gives me 0 0.2076, 0 0.207. Again, we want to round to at least two decimals. So here I'm going to go, okay, two numbers after the decimal. I'm going to look to the third. It's a seven. 
that means I'm going to round this up to 0 0.21. So that means that 21% of the people surveyed are ones that prefer that the internet is their source. Okay. All right, let's look at another one. Okay, let's see what we have here. It says a sample of 416 people is selected. The people sampled are classified according to their place of residence and the highest education degree they, they have earned. The results are given in the table below. So 460 people were surveyed. Here's all of our urban people and their degrees, suburban and then rural. So it says among the people in the sample whose place of residence is urban. So we're only looking at urban. So we're gonna go ahead and just go, we don't need any of these people here. What is the relative frequency of those who do not have a college degree? So we are looking at do not have a college degree, which is 47 have no college degree. So we know that 47 is our numerator, okay? But we need to know how many total people are we looking at here? So again, to figure out our total, we're gonna come in and we're gonna add our group. So we're gonna add all of these together to figure out how many people is in our group we're looking at. So we have 47 plus 17 plus 18 plus 44. All right, and that gives us 126. So when we add all these up, that gives us a total of 126 people. That's our denominator. Our total is always our denominator or our whole. And the part that we're, we're looking at here is the non-college earning people. Okay, that means 47 of those. So now put it in our calculator and we just figure out what our decimal value is here, what our relative frequency is going to be. 47 divided by 126, 0 0.373. We want to round to two numbers after the decimal. The number after the 7 is a 3, therefore it will just stay a 7. So our relative frequency is 0 0.37. So remember, Make sure you identify who your total sample group is. What are you looking at? And only focus on that information. Set your fraction up and then convert to a decimal. I hope this video has helped. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your instructor. Have a great day.